Hi first grade friends, it's Miss Huntley back with lesson two for this week. In lesson one, we talked about our favorite animals and we talked about characteristics of animals. Remember, characteristics means traits or features, the way animals look, that help us sort them. Today, we're gonna learn about animal habitats. A habitat is a place in nature where plants grow and animals live. An animal habitat is like their home. Now, characteristics help us decide what the best habitat is for an animal. The habitat for an animal has what they need to eat, what they drink, the temperature that's right for them. So if you have a fish, its habitat is probably in the water because it needs the water to live. That's a characteristic of a fish. Where if you have a bear, its habitat is not gonna be underwater in the ocean because it can't breathe underwater. That's a characteristic of a bear. We can use characteristics to help us find the right habitat for an animal. Now there are a lot of different kinds of habitats and we're gonna learn about some of them today. For example, one is the ocean. The ocean is a habitat that has a lot of different kinds of animals. Another one is the mountains. There are some animals that live at the very top of mountains. It's crazy. Another habitat we'll talk about is the Arctic. Brr. Some animals survive in the very, very coldest of temperatures. Another habitat is the desert. Some animals don't need a lot of water to survive, so the desert is a great place for them. We'll also talk about the rainforest. Unlike the desert, in the rainforest, it rains a lot. Now I have a book I'm going to read for you that helps us learn more about each habitat. After the book, we'll talk about our activity, but let's go read. Our book we're going to read is Where Do Animals Live? The author is Bobby Common. It's published by Crab Tree Publishing Company. What is a habitat? A habitat is a place in nature. Animals live in habitats. Some habitats are on land. Some habitats are in water. Turtles live on land and in water. A turtle has come out of the water to warm its body in the sun. The alligator is warming itself too. What do animals need? To stay alive, animals need air, water, and food. They need sunlight to keep them warm. Animals find everything they need in their habitats. Hummingbirds get food from the flowers in their habitat. This crocodile caught a fish to eat in its habitat. The crocodile lives in water, but it comes up to breathe air above the water. A forest habitat. A forest is a habitat with many trees. There are different kinds of forests. This sloth lives in a rainforest. A rainforest gets a lot of rain. This three-toed sloth eats and sleeps in the trees of its rainforest habitat. Dry deserts. Deserts are dry habitats. They do not get much rain. Plants called cacti grow in some deserts. Cacti have sharp spines. Spines are like needles. Here's the cacti and here are the spines. Iguanas are lizards that live in deserts. They eat cacti. This iguana climbed on top of a cactus. Mountain habitats. A mountain is a tall, rocky land. The top of a mountain is cold and windy. The bottom of a mountain is warmer. Mountain goats live at the top of mountains in summer. They live at the bottom of mountains in winter. They can find more food there in winter. Mountain goats have hooves. The hooves of these baby mountain goats help them climb up and down mountains. Grassland homes. A grassland is a flat habitat that is covered with grasses and other plants. This grassland is called a meadow. 
Many red foxes live in meadows. Foxes live in homes called dens. The den of this red fox kit, or baby, is inside a log in a meadow. Very cold habitats. There are two very cold habitats on Earth. One is the Arctic. The other is Antarctica. The Arctic is at the top of Earth. Polar bears live in the Arctic. Antarctica is at the bottom of Earth. Penguins live in Antarctica. Antarctica is the coldest place on Earth. Wetland habitats. Many birds live in wetland habitats. Wetlands are covered with water most of the time. These birds are called spoonbills. Spoonbills are wading birds. Wading birds walk in water to find food. They have long legs and long bills. The bills of spoonbills are like spoons. They help these birds scoop up food underwater. Long legs keep their bodies above water. Ocean habitats. Many kinds of animals live underwater. Some live in ocean habitats. Oceans are big areas of salty water. Many kinds of fish live in oceans. Sharks live in oceans. Some sharks are very big. Here are some of our different habitats. Thanks for reading with me. Now that we're done reading our book, let's talk about our activity. Your first activity for this lesson is to draw one of the habitats we just talked about. You can choose to draw the ocean, the Arctic, the rainforest, or the desert. You have four choices. On the next slide, you'll see my example. I chose to draw the ocean. You don't have to choose the ocean. You can choose whichever one you want. Make sure you circle your choice and then draw it in the box.